your types can write other types for you and let's learn how so we have two example interfaces here one is the user interface the other one is product interface with these values these could be example api responses for a general structure a general protocol that we could make when we receive any of uh, the api responses we can have this particular type with uh, which has this data value a loading state and an error value if it exists this is for the user this is for the product and as the api creeps growing up we'll have different interfaces and we'll have different uh, api response interfaces that we'll have to create very painstaking a uh, lot of interfaces takes a lot of time so this is why we can use higher order types similar to the example that we have here we would use meta programming with the help of higher order types meta programming is using one program to write another program right but in this case just practically we'll use this type to make another type on computer time so we create this api response type with a generic type of t which has data loading and errors there are three different values and data is of this particular generic type when we use this particular type we pass in this uh, user as a generic prop and we just easily get this particular response user response would be data loading with data of that user type of that generic that we passed in similarly for the product very similar and we'll just have this one api response value any other different interface that we pass in we'll get that particular desired this, this particular uh, response values could be connected to the response of your api and we can have desired types for each and every api endpoint and you you don't have to create multiple api responses so types can generate types for you with lesser code fewer bugs and they are infinitely scalable